Okay, well, welcome back everyone. It's Nicola Cairn Cross here. And following my video yesterday, I had some fantastic comments, which I'm very grateful. And one in particular from Holly, and that was very helpful because she was saying that she doesn't mind me running over old stuff because she watches and listens to so much that sometimes she misses stuff. And I know that's very true. Um, it's very easy to worry about missing stuff. And I used to worry about that entirely until I went to a coaching, my first ever coaching conference, my first ever conference, I think it was, now I think about it, personal development wise. I went to New York to hear Thomas Leonard speak, who was the guy who started Coach University. And I remember he, uh, he said, is there anyone in the audience who's got any um, questions? And I stood up and said, I'm so concerned about missing everything. How do I know that I'm going to be taking everything in that I need to? And he gave me the most fantastic answer, which is actually a brilliant answer for most things. It's, um, he said, whatever happens, it will be perfect just as it is. You're here and what, what you're here to learn, your subconscious knows what you're here to learn and you'll be picking up on the things that you need subconsciously. And so whatever you take, you don't need to worry about forgetting the rest because whatever you most need, you'll be taking in at the time and whatever happens, it'll be perfect. And he used to say that quite a lot and I'd sort of forgotten that until Holly made her comment on the video there. The other thing Holly mentioned was that she's she's really very aware that it would be a really good idea to start a side hustle, as she put it. Um, but she says that, you know, the whole arena of that is so full of scams and, and shysters and hucksters and snake oil salesmen. How do you tell? Well, I think that's the thing you have to you rely on your own intuition. It's a bit like whatever happens, it'll be perfect. But you have to rely a bit on your intuition. I was talking to someone else about um, how I ended up joining the YouTube course that I did, which was actually um, a course run by not not this guy, but it was part of the course that this guy started. This guy, start, Jim Harmer, this is. Jim Harmer started a uh, photo photography website, a niche website, and it was all about getting becoming a better photographer when you've only just started it as a hobby. And then he built that into such a huge business that he then started other niche websites. And then he ended up bringing in a friend of his whose name was Ricky. And Ricky now runs Income School. In fact, if you go onto YouTube, there is actually a uh, channel for them as well. But I didn't come across them like that. I came across them through the Channel Makers channel on YouTube. And that's a guy called Nate. And he was giving away so much good stuff for free. I thought, how much better must the stuff that they're, they're charging for be if they're giving away this great stuff for free? And actually, that's not how it works. How it actually works is that you give away great stuff for free. That encourages people to join your training course because they want to get helped by you specifically. And what you're doing by paying for a training course is often you're getting um, quite a lot of the stuff that is out there for free, but you don't know where it is. You don't know that it exists. You don't know which order to watch it in. So by buying a training course, you get all that. You get a structured workflow, but you also get to work with the people who created the training course and who created the original videos because you can ask them questions. Um, often that's within a community area. The income school people have got a community area at, within their training course. And I've got a community area within my training course as well, which is where I prefer to have um, questions asked so that I can answer them and everyone else can learn from that answer. Because sometimes, as when I went to New York, you don't know what you don't know. And it's only by listening to someone else being, being coached or trained that you realise that you needed that bit of information or it unlocks some sort of emotion in you or feeling in you that you didn't know was there. So getting off a bit off the point of this video, but uh, as Holly asked, you know, what kind of side hustle would, is a good one to start now in two, 2023? And what I did was I referred her to a video of mine that I created. In fact, I've done several recently. Um, I've done some about what would be the kind of side hustle to start that would get you from zero to earning an income as quickly as possible. So I'll just flash that up on the screen here so you can see what that thumbnail looks like and you can find it easily in my list of videos. And then there was also one about how to start an online business from scratch where I went through all the different kinds of, of, of earning. And one, to one of the things I mentioned was Amazon, you know, selling physical products of your own and also selling physical products that you buy in from other people and then resell on things like Etsy or Amazon um, or from your own website indeed. 
And then there's also the affiliate model, which is um, what the niche sites tend to do, which is where you create a niche site to attract traffic. And then you have advertising on those sites, either from Amazon or from other advertising providers, where people actually are bidding to be have their ads shown on your website because you're getting a lot of traffic. Now, I've always been absolutely rubbish at niche sites and I've always been absolutely rubbish at Amazon. One of my closest friends, Neil Asher, is actually the godfather of, of Amazon trading. And if you want to learn from him, you should go over to AussieOnlineEntrepreneurs.com. And he does, he started out working with only Aussie entre, um, entrepreneurs who want to learn how to sell on Amazon, but, you know, buy products in and then sell them on Amazon. But uh, he now works with people all over the world because indeed, they, you know, he works with people who want to get onto Amazon England, um, Amazon Europe, Amazon India, Amazon USA and Amazon um, Australia. And I have no hesitation in pointing you towards him because I know that he genuinely is one of the best guys in the industry to learn how to do Amazon from. And also I've met, I've been and spoken at several of his events and I met some of his real high achievers and he's got a fantastic community of about 2000 Amazon entrepreneurs and they're all incredibly keen to help you. If you want to go down the Amazon route, that's the way to go. If you want to go down the affiliate marketing route, then I would certainly suggest you look at two. There's an, uh, one guy called Doug Cunnington and there's the yeah, there's Jim Harmer of Income School. I've seen quite a lot of their content inside the training course for niche sites because there's a dual training course. There's the YouTube course and then there's the niche sites and you get to um, enjoy both of them if you sign up for Income School. I think it's called Project 24. And I would recommend them very highly as well. And I mean, I don't think um, there's many people out there working with uh, people who want to create a product from their own expertise as experienced as me. And I'm not just blowing my own trumpet. You know, I've been around for 25 years and that's been the kind of client I tend to attract because that's the kind of thing I tend to do to make money online is I create my own books. I create my own training courses. I um, take my own expertise and turn it into digital products. I turn it into uh, communities and I turn it into recurring revenue. So I think I'm probably one of the best people to learn from on that front. And I've, I've worked with so many different authors and experts and specialists, you know, ranging from hydroponic wheatgrass growers through to super yacht skippers, jazz singers. You know, I can work with I've worked with my my sister to get an album out and market that album online. Uh, so, you know, I work with lots of different experts to create digital products from their expertise. Uh, so I do, you know, I, I would hesitate to recommend anyone else on that front because I don't, I genuinely don't know anyone who's had as much experience as I have at that. How do you choose? That's the question. I think um, that's why this work energy book sort of grabbed my attention really, because what he's talking about there is the, the way you like to work is really important. Now, I'm the kind of person who I've got, um, I can't remember anything from one minute to the next, unless I'm really interested in it, in which case I then do deep dive learning. And I like to jump straight into taking action from that deep dive learning. And it's actually got a special name, totally eludes me at the moment. No, hyperfoot, no, can't remember it at all. So that, the, the way that I like to work is by learning something intensely, putting it intensely into action, and then stepping back and sometimes taking a break and then coming back to it again. So I like to work in fits and starts. Now, the reason that Amazon selling is absolutely no good for me at all is because it's quite detail orientated and there's quite a lot of research. Anytime I hear the word market research, my soul shrivels a little bit inside. So I need to work on projects that don't need a great deal of detailed market research. I need to work on projects where you can throw some mud at a wall, see what sticks, uh, work from the data, be guided by the numbers, and then come at it again from a different viewpoint, perhaps trying something new or expanding on what's already working. So I think you have to know, you know, how you work. Mechanics are really good at things like SEO and people. I mean, I'm also a creative person. I've always been a, I was a fashion designer before. I love to cook, you know, so so I'm very much 
into the creative side of things. The creators like to create something from nothing. There's nothing that gives me a bigger thrill than having an idea in my head and turning it into something that can then generate an income online. That's that's what where I get my my kicks, if you like, from um, the online world. It's not selling other people's stuff. I couldn't, you know, I find it very hard to um, care about that. I couldn't do a job, for example, working in someone else's company, selling their stuff. Well, I could, but I, would, it, I probably wouldn't last longer than 18 months. That it does seem to be my upper limit for jobs, I must say. So, so you've got to think about what really, how you like to work, what gives you energy, what turns you on, what, what, what makes you want to get up in the morning, and, and the Jim Harmer book's quite useful for that because he's got a worksheet that goes with it. It encourages you to think about the, 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 what he calls the soul destroyers, the soul grinders, which are the tasks within um, your work or your business that really make you want to go into the lose and self-harm. I mean, I used to work at Sony Music. I really wanted to work in the music industry. And I used to, I got a job at Sony Music, but it was in the royalties department, not in the A&R department, which was the creative side of things. And I used to go to the loo every lunchtime and cry without fail because it was just so dull. And just trying to get through to five o'clock was the biggest challenge ever. But that was because I was doing repetitive, detail-orientated tasks. As soon as my boss came to me and said, Nicola, we want to organise a conference and we think that you'd be a great person to do that. I mean, God knows why he thought that, but um, I did manage to organise a conference for something like 1,200 people at one of the fanciest hotels in London. And I managed to organise the menu and I managed to do the whole thing and it went off brilliantly. I did the music. I, I mean, I'm really good at organising events. I mean, I absolutely would never, ever take on that again, but I've organised fashion shows, I've organised conferences, I've organised workshops, I've, you know, I'm, I seem to have a knack for putting events together, but I absolutely hate doing it unless I've got an assistant who can do all the follow-up, all the confirming, all the emailing people to make sure of things. Oh, I absolutely hate that side of it. But having, you know, blue skying the thing and coming up with exciting events is not a difficult thing for me at all. Yeah, know yourself, I think is what I'm saying. And then once you know yourself, then come to come and ask me, you know, just tack it on as a, a comment on a on a video and or just email me even or um, come over to nicolacarenext.com and scroll down until you see the envelope. And then you can just hit the envelope and email me. And once you know what kind of a personality you are and what kind of work tasks you enjoy, then I'll be able to recommend the best kind of um, side hustle for you. And I'll also be able to recommend the best tuition course for you. I won't try and sell you on mine if it's not right, but if I do genuinely believe that I'm the right person for you to work with, I will not hesitate to say so. Equally, if I think there's someone else who can teach you what you need to know better, who is trustworthy and reliable and who actually gets good results for their students, I will tell you that too. So, Go off, get the book Work Energy by Jim Harmer. There it is. Can't miss it. Someone else has already bought it on my recommendation. And, you know, no affiliate links here. I've got nothing to gain. I just genuinely enjoyed the book and I felt that they brought something new to the table with the concept. And then um, you can get the worksheet that uh, they recommend what you work your way through to find out what... Um, what kind of a work energy you've got and what kind of tasks you enjoy. A couple of other personality profile uh, tests for you, which would help me to diagnose the right kind of business for you, is the Colby A test. That's K-O-L-B-E and then the letter A. And if you do the Colby A test online, it will give me a really good feel for um, your how what's your preferred method of taking action, because that will tell me, um, again, what kind of business would work best for you. And finally, there's the Wealth Dynamics Profile. You can find by just typing in uh, Wealth Dynamics Profile, Roger Hamilton, and he's the guy who invented that. And it's a little bit more of a more extensive personality test, but it brings together lots of different elements and it will tell you your fastest route to the money. And once I know what your fastest route to the money is and what your wealth profile is, I can tell you which side hustle will be best for you. So loads of things to be actioning there and I really hope this has helped and thanks very much to Holly who asked such a great question in the comments that gave me the content for this video. So thanks Holly, I'll see you all tomorrow.